Well, happy Monday and welcome to This Week in Government Affairs. I'm Nathan Alonzo. Starting off with issues at the local level, the Fresno County Board of Supervisors will be receiving a report from the Fresno Economic Development Corporation on the 2016 Fresno County Economic Growth Plan. This plan is going to be presented to the federal government come the middle of the year, so we look forward to seeing what economic growth we had this past year here in our county. Another report uh, that uh, came before the Fresno Council of Governments, which is the transportation arm of our local governments, was uh, demographers presented to them the Fresno County growth map over the course of the next 35 years. So Fresno County is going to be growing from where we're at right now, which is 972,000 inhabitants, to almost 1.5 million by 2050. With this amount of growth are going to come some challenges, there are going to come some things that we have to do in order to facilitate that growth. So we look forward to seeing how uh, local municipalities come together to help assess the needs of jobs and infrastructure. At the state level, staff uh, was in Sacramento this past Tuesday testifying on a few bills in the state senate and a couple of policy committees. One of those bills was SB 524 by State Senator Andy Vidak, which looked to provide a good faith defense to employers who try to comply with state regulations based off of advice that they were given by a state department and if they were found to be not in compliance based on the advice that they followed from that state department, they couldn't get fined or assessed uh, some pretty heavy fees. Uh, the bill uh, did not pass committee. It uh, stalled in committee on a 1-1 vote with two abstentions, but it was granted reconsideration, so we'll be looking at that closely. Another bill that staff uh, testified in support of was SB 649 by Senator Ben Weso, which uh, had to do with telecommunications. This bill would uh, create a statewide uh, plan to allow for infrastructure improvements that would facilitate additional and more affordable telecommunications infrastructure around the state. Uh, coming up at the state level, uh, the May revise, which is when the governor revises the budget that he put out towards the beginning of the year, that'll be coming out here within the next couple of weeks. A couple of issues that we're paying close attention to are uh, a piece of legislation by Senator Ricardo Lara, which is the single payer health care legislation that he has brought forth. We have some serious concerns on it. And uh, many organizations from around the state are going to come together in opposing that legislation, and we will be joining their efforts. Another bill that is coming forward is uh, AB 1565 by Assemblymember uh, Thurmond, and this looks to raise the exempt threshold from where it's at now to $58,000 a year. By 2023, this would be extremely costly to employers who rely on a lot of uh, exempt employees and using that classification so that they don't have to pay some pretty hefty overtime. So we'll be paying some close attention to that. Um, coming up uh, on the federal level, we're engaged on the conversations that are happening around health care. Uh, we got reports that the House Freedom Caucus has signed off on the House Republican health care plan. So it'll be interesting to see how that plan moves forward. Uh, also happening this week in Washington, a continuing resolution that will help uh, fund the government through the end of the month. And then uh, we'll see what happens after that. And uh, as always, we're paying attention to what's going on on the waterfront and seeing how that's developing uh, come the, the uh, middle of this year. Uh, President Trump also uh, unrolled a tax plan. Uh, we are going into the details to see how that would affect us here in California and specifically how it would affect us here in the Valley. So stay tuned to see how we weigh in on that as more details come forth. Coming up on May 19th, our next Eggs and Issues Breakfast with California Water Commissioner Joe Del Bosque, Fresno County Farm Bureau President and CEO Ryan Jacobson, and Deputy General Manager for Westlands Water District, Johnny Amaral. Get your tickets now, they're going pretty quick. So that's This Week in Government Affairs. I'm Nathan Alonzo. We hope you have a fantastic week. We'll catch up with you again here next Monday. Until then, take care.